I'm literally propelled <laughs> myself along the street. Nobody should be in my wake. It's not good. <laughs> Listen, before we go any further, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And like and follow us on Facebook. And follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to tweet. And of course, don't forget Instagram. Instagram is something that everybody does now. Do you know? So many of my friends. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 and, sorry, and Scott. No, we can't have it anymore. Or go to our website, amazingwonderbirds.com. Yeah, thank you, Tracy, Yay. from the bottom of my heart. Get that, Margaret? Just checking. <laughs> so I'm going to kick off today, ladies, and talk about what to watch Wednesday. Um, and I've been watching Macmillions. Have any of you seen Macmillions? No. no. And it's about McDonald's and how they had, do you oh. remember the lottery game? Do you remember, I don't know whether it was a Monopoly game, that they did this big, you could win a lot of money in the States. And it was a big scam how this group of people were manipulating and were ripping McDonald's off for millions and millions and millions <gasps> of people. And how the FBI Ooh. got on top of it and uncovered it. And it was really, really interesting. What have you been watching, Dee? Well, very interesting, actually, because I think I've watched nearly everything on Netflix possible. <laughs> so I have to move to another channel. And so I subscribe to Disney Plus, which is only five ninety nine. They they give you a the free best. one normally. Yeah, the best. But absolutely amazing. Hamilton, which I never got to see, oh, yeah. I've seen oh, and yeah. I've watched it two or three times, and it's incredible. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, revolutionary, groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> Sherry, what have you been watching? Well, I've had a, a bit of a nostalgic week, to be honest, because. I, um, I've always been addicted to watching Dad's Army because John LeMessurier is one person I'd have loved to have met and worked with in my life. And I, and I just watched another one again last night and I just thought how clever it was. What clever writers those boys mm. were and how funny it is and how watchable for every part of your family. Do you know what I mean? And it, but mm. cleverly written, and it's just John Laurie, who is one of the you know biggest film stars ever. And ne I don't think people really knew how many films John Laurie did. And every character is so well defined. And I just it it just it's like having mashed potato and onion gravy. It's just <laughs> so that is the great description. So warming. Oh, so oh, Harriet, wonderful. next well, oh, Harriet. Well, obviously. Darling, I watched you in Benidorm. Well, of course. Of Again. Course. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's a classic and it was amazing. But not more importantly, but also added to that, I love watching Bake Off the Professionals when they create that, yes. that um, amazing um, things in sugar, which I love, obviously. Yes. Um, and yeah, I was just, I adore watching all these creations and the competition sense. It's so, just such fun. Yes, Debbie, darling. It's good. Bake. Bake is a four-letter word. How dare you use it on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cook. say I bake, darling. Wearing I just like watched them. No, darling. Oh, I, I just now, I, it. now, strangely enough, Sherry, I used to go out with uh, Robin LeMessurier. No! Oh, and, uh, John son. You know Robin? Yeah, I went out with Robin. So I met John. I was lucky enough to meet John. So it's very... It was absolutely... It was just so, so charming, but I could never see him and Hattie in my head. It, never kind of worked, but he was absolutely crazy about her. You know that? I know. Oh, her. Yeah. She, she was, and she had a very interesting life. I mean, men found her irresistibly sexy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which, did which, you, you, know, you see, did you see Ruth Jane? Ruth brilliant. Jones play? Had, yeah. Gosh, she was yeah. brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, she was, of course, it told the whole story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, it she did. Was, she was, you know, she was some girl, Hattie. She was very sexy woman. Very yeah. sexy so she was, lady. Very. Somebody that was, you know, as, as big as her. And yeah. to have that sexuality and have all... I mean, at one point, she lived with two different men in her house. I mean, yeah. you know, she was some lady. Lizzie. Anyway, Lizzie I knew Lizzie her Lizzie. quite well as well. So having gone out with her son... Oh, but, how lovely. I digress. I've watched the Ted Bundy story. Have you? That? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't oh, watch yeah. it. Oh, wow. I, I can't watch it. It was Gary. just, it was, no, I just started to watch it, of course, at 11 o'clock at night and scared myself yeah. to death. <laughs> but, um, 
that's really, really spooky really and scary. scary. How, how he defended himself, how they all, all, everybody liked him as a person. Oh, I know. That's a true that's psychopath. Had, Very likable. Really he had Very, a fan base, a fan base of young girls. Like, it yeah. was like a rock star. He was so handsome as well, wasn't he? Yeah. It's very it interesting. Terrific. What would ever make somebody like him, who could pick women up, who didn't have a problem? You know, you'd see a, a serial killer who hated women, but he was adored by his mother. Oh, yes, he was adored by women. It but it's, well, mental, but it's, it's not logical. It's about mental illness, isn't it? As yeah, you said, it is. it's, it's a psychopath. It's a yes, thing. yes, psychopath. Yeah. And a hatred of women too. Yeah. Which is Absolutely. Or, and the fact that he escaped twice as well, you know, <laughs> yeah. for a light fitting. I mean, all of these things. But anyway, that was what I've been watching. So I, I recommend it if you want to frighten yourself to death. Um, Thank you, Dee. Take over. Please, on a lighter note, over. darling, on a lighter note, not talking about sort of anything too sinister, we're going to have a wonderful lady on now who is actually an expert in women's health and, mm. and a really good topic because she's a nutritionist for Forever Young Health. And her name is Rebecca Trailin, and she likes to be called Becky. Okay, Hi, Becky. Hi. Hi, Hi Becky. Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Hello. Great to see you, Becky, flying into our nest. It's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you are our sort of our saving light because we're going to talk to you now about women of a certain age, not that we are, but um. Oh, all about to me the most fascinating thing that you and I had a chat, little chat before the show. Yeah. We're talking about the digestive system, yeah, and how you you know we're all on diets all the time, aren't we? We're all sort of you know snacking and then then having a day off and losing weight, putting it back on. But you, what you were saying to me and what somebody another practitioner said to me is, unless you get your digestive system right, you'll never actually sustain the weight loss. That's true, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so our digestive system is so important and really in the last few years we're kind of figuring out now how important it really is. So you kind of think about your gut microbiome, so that's the bacteria, the fungi, um, viruses that are present in your gut. You kind of think that's just linked to my digestive system, but actually it's linked to so much more than that. It's linked to immunity, your skin, your mood and weight loss as well. So it's really important First of all, you've got to sort that out. So eating the right kind of foods and if possible, supplementing with these friendly bacteria supplements, probiotics, as well to get your gut kind of happy and then you can work on from there. So it's, yeah, really important to start from there and then... Because right. actually, Becky, you actually, did you develop these pro... Because I got the ProBio 7. Yes. Did you help develop those? Because tell us, because we're obviously all really keen to try them. Yeah, yeah, so really important probiotics, especially we, throughout life, we recommend them, but especially as we age. So the diversity in our gut microbiome actually decreases as we age. So we have less species. So this is why women, as they get older, they may find they have more digestive issues like bloating, constipation, wind. So this is why when something like probiotic that you have, can really help. Um, so this is live bacteria, this is, that you <laughs> um and yeah, populates your guts as well. Um, and 50 plus as well, the one that you have, is also um, a complete supplement because it also has vitamins and minerals, plant extracts and omega-3. So all, yeah, all very good. It's good everything. Fabulous, fabulous. That's really, fabulous. That's really interesting. You mentioned vitamins uh, uh, there, Becky. And um, being a doctor, you know, you, you see, I see a lot of, uh, female patients uh, in the age category that we're all in and pretty much a huge percentage and there are stats on this I mean the most enormous percentage are actually vitamin d deficient yeah. by the time they reach middle age yeah. so I wanted to ask you first of all about your and, and I certainly have taken vitamin d supplements forever because I was found to be found to be clinically deficient not just a bit low but absolutely yeah. rock bottom because I'm a bit like a glow worm I never go in the sun so I'm <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. And I think because we've been told now the sun is bad for us, or you know how there's been this big push about sun damage, we all cover ourselves up, and of course we don't get vitamin D. So my first question is about your take on vitamin D and what you'd advise, yes. but also that there's been some interesting data, particularly in this lockdown period, about people who are very low in vitamin D are at a higher risk of complications from COVID or catching COVID. Mm. So, um, you know, are you a great fan of vitamin D and do you put them in your, your supplements? 
Yes, this is a really great point to raise. Vitamin D is kind of being a bit of a neglected vitamin, but it's actually so important and I don't think it's talked about enough. So during summer, we can normally absorb vitamin D through our skin and that's enough. But like you said, a lot of people now, they're worried about damaging their skin, so they might cover up their skin. Or actually, if you have sun cream on, the vitamin, the sunlight can't actually penetrate the skin to make this vitamin D. So you might actually not even be making it in the summer. Uh, you can get it through some dietary sources, so eggs, salmon, some meat, but these are very low these sources. So it is recommended that during winter, everyone takes a vitamin D supplement. And then recently the guidelines have actually been updated to say mm -hmm. that you take them throughout the year because we are all at home. We couldn't go out at the beginning of lockdown, so we weren't getting the sunlight we need. But especially as well for, um, as we get older, our skin actually can't make vitamin D well, like I said. So actually, if you take a vitamin D throughout the year, this is great because you're just protecting yourself, making sure your vitamin D levels aren't getting too low and preventing that happening. Um, especially it's really recommended menopausal women they are more at risk of osteoporosis mm. their bones are more likely to break because their calcium levels are lower and this is also regulated by vitamin d so it all has a part to play so it's really important for immunity as well bone health and um, so yeah kind of it should be thought about throughout life vitamin d but especially as we're getting older really important yeah thank you brilliant brilliant, brilliant. can i um ask you about these <clears throat> so it says fish oil powder so i'm allergic to uh, seafood and different types of fish so should i not take this i have to look into exactly what you're allergic to either this discuss with a nutritionist like myself or a gp um because if you're not taking if you can't take any fish oil supplements probably wouldn't recommend because you don't want to risk it um, but are you taking any other form of omega-3? So you can take like vegan alternatives from, I think they can also get it from algae as well. And they can isolate the omega-3. So if you can't take the fish oil, I would recommend having a look at other sources that you can get it from. So not this then? I will, I'll, if you want, you can let me know exactly what you're allergic to and look into it. But I wouldn't advise if you are allergic to. Yeah, it's mainly uh, seafood mm. and, you know, all, all sorts of strange fishes like brills. I mean, why? But it's just, I, and, and um, it brings me out in, I'm sick and it brings me out in a rush. So um, I've always avoided anything with fish oils in, you know. So mm. maybe that's not for me then. Yeah, I would just look into, if you're not already taking um, omega-3 supplement, you can get other forms of it because you can get vegan ones for people that don't need vitamin Yes, yeah, so, so I, yeah. okay, yeah. that's what I'll look into then. Yeah. Because I know I do need vitamin D because I know I, I'm, uh, I, uh, I've been told that I need it. So yeah. I'll have to get it some other way then, won't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Thank get you, Becky. That's really yeah. interesting. Um, right. Most, or all, all, I think, I'm not sure Tracy is, but we're all... Um, we all have underactive thyroid, so we all take vitamin D because of that. Yeah. Um, but there's a couple of quick things I wanted to ask you. I'm a big devotee of a free radical. And I don't know if you're all aware, but yesterday was World Chocolate Day. And I honoured that from the moment I woke up <laughs> to the moment I went to sleep. And absolutely just had the free radicals all day. What are your thoughts about a free radical? Yes, so the so it'd be the antioxidants in the food, like dark chocolate. chocolate. That's why it's so good. Yeah, dark chocolate. Yeah, I've always known this. Happy I've known this forever, which is why I, I'm a devotee. Yeah. The other thing I was going to say, I have been taking this, and I feel great. There's one interesting little repercussion, <clears throat> in a literal sense. Um, Hashtag wind. I'm literally propelled <laughs> myself along the street. Nobody should be in my wake. It's not good. Um, and I just wanted to know whether. Either it's the free radicals, or if there is something that creates the um, volume. Yes, what is of, it? Not what wind. is it? Don't like a match near her, girls. No, dear, it's a lethal. It's a health and safety no. issue. It's a health and safety issue. No, no fireworks, no matches, no barbecues, and nothing. It's not okay. So tell me, Di, is it is it just my stomach acclimatizing to um, all the things, or is it is it just like have a small issue. <laughs> I would, if you've just started taking the, so yeah. the 50 plus what you're having is the friendly bacteria supplement. So these are the bacteria. Okay, and can I just say, nobody behind me would call them friendly. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
antisocial. Anyway, yeah, go on. So a friendly bacteria. Yeah. So if you've never had them before, um, it can be a bit of a shock for your digestive system. So ah, I can I can explain that. it, and to everyone else who I know. <laughs> Friendly bacteria. I'm sorry, not me. <laughs> and does it does it does it kind of um, sort Stop. itself out? And, yes. and yeah, it will do. It's just <laughs> let's. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Harriet, you'll be fine in three years. It'll be fine. <laughs> as, as long as, yes, thank God we're on Zoom and nothing else. I know, dear. Yes. No, I'd, have to have a studio all of my, I'd have to have a studio all of my own. But so long as I stick with the free radicals, though, that's the thing I really needed oh, yeah, to hear today. So thank you. I want to talk to you about Icecon. I feel that all menopause supplements should be taken way before mm. and continually after the menopause. Yeah. And I think I think the mistake that people, this is my personal opinion, I think the mistake that people make is saying, oh my God, I'm going to menopause, I need to take something now. I think it should be taken way before and way after. Are isobon, is that are those the tablets that you should be taking all the way through and to carry on? Because you can take HRT, you can mm. have it, had a doctor on here, you can take it till you're 90. So yeah. why would you only take these tablets at a certain time? Or don't you have to? No, so you can take them before. So our estrogen levels, they kind of, reach a peak when we um, go through puberty and then it kind of carries on like in our um as we're pregnant our I can't think of the word now. But yeah when we're like pregnant they kind of say said it and then they just start declining slowly and then reach that bottom level when we hit menopause. So it's a really good point that actually we should take it slightly before a few years before we actually are going to hit this menopause to kind of prepare our body. And then also way after is even though menopause maybe lasts um, a year for some people, it kind of vary, but you're still then post-menopause, your estrogen levels are still low, and you're still at risk of osteoporosis and heart disease, even if you mm. don't have these immediate symptoms like the hot flushes or the night sweats, these low levels of estrogens are still gonna change the way your body is functioning. So yes, yeah, something like isobon you can have beforehand, it's kind of a preventative to try and prepare your body and then take it right through and it's a really good point that it's not just uh, something you should just have for six weeks and then never think about it again yes yeah. I, th I think the thing is it's it, that none of these um, menopause supplements are, are marketed properly mm. because i think they should be saying you take it you know before the menopause and take it forever afterwards because yeah, yeah. obviously you want to keep your estrogen levels going don't you yeah yeah and you still need to protect your body as well. yeah you need to just be keeping popped up on these like phytoestrogens, they keep your kind of stimulate the estrogen levels. And what's actually really good about the pops that are in um, isobon is they are an estrogen selector. So if your estrogen levels are already too high, it won't raise them. Mm, but if your estrogen levels need increasing, they will increase them, which is really good. So it's not, if you do take it before and your estrogen levels are fine, it won't increase them to a harmful effect. So if I had my menopause 20 years mm -hmm. ago, is it still relevant for me or would what's the issue if I then start taking it? No issue if you start taking it now. I would recommend still taking it now, even though you've had the Or menopause. start taking it. Start taking it, yes, I would start taking it now. As like I said earlier, it's not just these immediate symptoms that you're trying to stop, the hot flashes, the night sweat. There's also so much more to do with your estrogen levels. It's controlling where you hold your weight. Um, so before we go through the menopause, women hold our weight on our hips and our thighs. After menopause, it shifts to our abdomen. And this is a risk factor of heart disease. Um, our estrogen also controls the rate our bones break down. So this is why we're, when we have lower estrogen levels, we're more at risk of osteoporosis and fractures. So it's still really important to keep supplementing with these phytoestrogens, either through something like isobon or getting them through our diet, like soy milk, soybeans, flax seeds, linseeds. So yeah, completely. If you're not taking anything now, I definitely would recommend taking something. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on um, blood pressure pills and thyroxine. Mm -hmm. So would I still take that? Because I, I had my uh, menopause 20 odd years ago. Mm -hmm. Although I've got, I don't have symptoms now, I still sometimes often uh, boil, as I call it, as you know, <laughs> in the menopause. Uh, and then and then it goes away but but would i take this then yes if you are on medication i would always just recommend checking with your gp checking yeah, yeah. no i agree yeah yeah, yeah if you yeah. i still would recommend taking it yeah yeah but also sherry i was just hearing you talking about vitamin d you there is a vitamin d you can take it's a it's a it's a spray i take it every day yeah if you go, okay. it's, a, yeah. it's by best for you and you just just spray it every morning if you're not taking that 
every day. I take I've taken it every day for years. Yeah. But you should do that, Sherry. If you haven't got that now, you should the be doing that. Now. It's okay. a vegan. It's vegan. Spray. Spray. Is yeah. it? And when yeah. do you, you you spray it in your mouth or on your face or what? Up your nose. Where do you think? I've, I've, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> it's in your mouth. In your ears. I don't know. Yeah, in your. I know where I spray Harriet. Yes. <laughs> I almost swore. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Becky. I'm sorry, Dee, do you have another question to ask, Becky? No, no. no. Only, only that I was, th I was thinking your knowledge is very good, and I know that you've actually helped develop Isavon, haven't you? Yes. You were at the cutting edge of that. So yes. I think that's really great to have you telling us about mm -hmm. all the yeah. aspects around it. And I, because Debbie actually has been taking it for a long time, haven't you, Debbie? Yeah, well, because I, I just believe that it's, it, you might as yeah. well take it all the way through. I mean, what, yeah. we're taking it for years, we're taking it before and after. It's just one of those pills. I just don't yeah. believe in taking them. Yeah. So I do, I, I do think that you should tell your marketing department. <laughs> <laughs> that, Absolutely. That, they, don't, they don't say, they kind of, people think they should only take them for a certain while, you know, before, during and after the menopause. It should be, you know, this is a supplement for women okay. for 40 plus forever. Yeah, forever, and, exactly. Forever. Yeah, and I, I really do. Anyway, you, uh, yeah. thank you, thank you very much for joining us, Becky. Yeah, it's thank been you. lovely to meet you. And, and please come back and see us again soon, yeah, won't you? Definitely, it'll yeah. be lovely. Thank you. Oh, thank um, you, thank you very much. Much. Really interesting. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, darling. See you bye. soon. Bye bye. 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 The Tracy, that was fantastic. It was really, really interesting. Very interesting. Nice to have a, yes. a doctor with us because we seem kind of. Like we know what we're talking about half the time. Yeah, it was, it was really Absolutely. interesting. Very interesting. Now, now, now Tracy, you have managed to uh, to go back to work. Your yes. clinic is back to work, and you've gone to the hairdressers. Can you tell us? We're dying to know what it's like being back at work, and also what it's like going to the hairdressers. Hairdressers. I know yes. it's amazing. Um, well, I, I talk about the clinic. Going back to clinic was much easier than we thought, and actually, Fabulous. the feedback with patients has been they feel really safe. They they they're quite enjoying the experience. They're being ushered in individually, ushered out. They love it. They're wearing PPE in the hairdressers, and depending on what salon you go into, I think you know the level of PPE is different. But you know what? People are trying very hard to keep us safe. And I think it's great. You know what? I think it's great that businesses are open. Listen, Wonderbirds, before we go, can I do a big shout out to Charlotte Tilbury for sending this amazing lipstick? It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. What have you got, Sherry? I've got, I'll put my glasses on, sorry. Can't <laughs> see anymore. Um, I've got the wonderful magic serum, which I love, I and love. the magic light cream. I love that. These Gorgeous. are beautiful, beautiful products. I always buy this as well, which is their airbrushing makeup. So Ooh. I love Charlotte Tilbury. Thank so you, I. Charlotte Tilbury. What about you, Dee? I've got a lovely, lovely eye palette. Which oh, I'm I got so... that as well. Oh, I'm so what excited about it. Tracy, what they're horrible, these girls. I, I didn't get anything. Oh, Debbie. Oh, no. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you because will. Because you've moved. What's happened? What's you've happened? Moved. Why haven't you got any? Because I move it and, uh, and, and the, 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 they didn't get, I don't know, sort of missed me and that somebody's got it somewhere. I'm I have got another packet, which I think had your name on it, but I've, I've used that. So. Oh, <laughs> yes. Ooh. So what's happening uh, on Friday, it, Harriet? Friday is very exciting because we've got the wonderful Michelle Collins, who oh, has yes. done such <laughs> entrepreneurial stuff for us in the acting profession. And she's also had a dog rescue. So she is an amazing woman who's going to come and join us for a chat and a laugh and a cup. Oh, brilliant. Oh, How lovely. Brilliant. Thank you, Dr. Tracy. Thank we'll thank you. see you next thank week. Thank you, guys. Lovely to have a chat to you today. And you. See you Bye. soon. Bye. 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 Bye.